Hey everybody, in this video we're going to show you how to set up, customize, and troubleshoot your Google Calendar notifications across all your different devices. So if your Google Calendar notifications aren't working, you're in the right place. Mm -hmm. Let's dive in. Now if you want to get a notification for an event, you either go into an event you already have or you make a new one, then you go to where it says add notification. Then you can add as many notifications as you want from a predefined list or you can customize your own. Now that just applies to that singular event that you just changed. If you wanted to apply to all events in a given calendar, you have to change something in the calendar settings. On a mobile device, you can access the settings for a given calendar by clicking the hamburger icon in the top left corner and then scrolling all the way down to the settings. And then you click the calendar and then you're there. You click notifications and customize them as before. And it's very similar on a PC. You just hover over the calendar that you want to edit and then you select the settings and sharing. And then you scroll down to notifications and you have more or less the same options. Now, when you set notifications for a given calendar, it applies to all events in that calendar, whether they're new events that you create from that point onward or events that are already existing in your calendar. The exception for this is if you've edited the notifications for an existing event after it was created. In those cases, the default calendar notifications won't be applied, so be aware of this. Now, we've shown you how to set up notifications and edit notifications for single events or for an entire calendar, but if you're still having problems with notifications not showing up, you're not the only one, so listen up. Notifications within Google Calendar are account dependent, not device dependent or calendar dependent. So what that means is that if I set up a notification for an event, even if we're sharing a calendar, I'll only get that notification on my account. However, you will not get notifications even though we see the same event, the same calendar in our calendars. I have to go into my account and find the calendar we share, go into the settings and set up notifications for myself. And maybe that's annoying to some of you if you have a calendar you're sharing, you just want the same notifications, but we have a family calendar and I'll probably want an hour's notification for whenever I need to make dinner and you just want five minutes so you know when to come eat. Yeah, assuming I'm not counting on the default notification. <laughs> Now, if you've set notifications using your own account and you're still not receiving those notifications, then odds are that it has something to do working. with the device uh, itself. In addition to setting the notifications, you need to make sure that notifications are enabled on the device that you want to receive those notifications on. Now, before we dive into that, a good tip is to first and foremost, check that your phone is not on silent. Now that that's out of the way, let's look at the individual devices and how you make sure that notifications are enabled on those devices, starting with the PC or laptop. To do this, you need to go into the settings menu in the top right corner, select settings, and then go down to notification settings. Now that you're here, you can select the type of notification that you want, whether it should be a desktop notification, one that shows up in the bottom right corner of your screen, or an alert that shows up at the top of your screen and kind of drops down and then you have to dismiss it before you can continue your work. Now, if you've selected desktop notifications, you can choose to have snooze notifications show up again one or a few minutes before an event takes place and you can toggle sounds on and off. And finally, you can select if you only want to be notified if you've responded yes or maybe to that event. Now to enable Google Calendar notifications on my Android phone, I can do it in two ways. Either go straight from the app or go into my phone settings. If I go through the settings, this is really loud. That's a sun in the background. <laughs> He's supposed to be sleeping. <laughs> <laughs> if you go through the settings, you simply click settings, click on notifications and click on the app. And in there you have to have allow notification toggled on. Then you go to calendar notifications and in here you can specify a bit more what you want. So do you want a banner to appear or do you not? You can toggle that on and off. Do you want sound to come? You can choose which sound you want. And do you want it to appear when the screen is locked or not? All those things can be customized here. There's also a gentle notification that you can toggle on and off. It's supposed to be like a silent notification. But the important thing is that you allow notifications that that one is toggled on. Now, if you're still not getting notifications on your Android device, then you have to go into the app itself. Go up to the top left corner and hit the hamburger. Go all the way down, hit settings, click general, and here 
You can actually toggle on off if you want notifications on this device. If that's toggled off, then you're not gonna get any. So make sure that's toggled on. Now, unlike on Android devices, the device settings on iPhones are completely separate from the Google Calendar app. To enable Google Calendar notifications for the iPhone, you have to go into settings and then go down to notifications and then go down to Google Calendar. In there, of course, you need to ensure that allow notifications is toggled on. There's also an option to allow time sensitive notifications. This allows notifications from the Google Calendar app to break through the focus mode, which was released in iOS 15. Now, if you want a video on the focus mode or any other related topic, then let us know in the comments. Other options are pretty straightforward. You can toggle on and off if you want notifications to appear on your lock screen in the notification center, which is what you get if you swipe down from the top left corner of your screen or if you want banners to appear on your screen as you're using the app now with the banners you can select if you want them to be temporary or persistent temporary banners only show up for a few seconds and then they disappear and then the persistent ones are persistent they stay they stick around you can toggle sounds on and off you can't customize it here like on android devices but if you go back to the phone's general settings under sound and haptics you can change the sound for reminders in general on your phone finally at the bottom of the screen you can customize your lock screen notification appearances and decide on how or if you want the notifications to be grouped on your lock screen that should be it you should now be getting notifications for your Google Calendar and any device that you might have. Yep, and if you want more information on how to get started with Google Calendar and make the most out of it, then check out this video that we already did. It's a good one. Mm -hmm.